I'm Steve from This Week With Cars. This is Cassie's Land Rover Discovery and today I'd like to modify it and then I'll surprise her with all the changes that have been made. We're, we are planning a little off-roading trip this weekend and I think she will really like what I have in store for the Discovery. First off, I have this used winch and winch bumper. So I'm gonna have to take the old bumper off, bolt this one on. And I also have a set of nice mud terrain tires. So I'll get those wheels and tires off, put these on there. And there's not only these modifications, but there's a few things that I need to fix on the truck as well. So I think I'll start with getting this bumper installed and getting the winch connected. Removing the bumper on these is pretty simple. There's just four bolts, two on each side, that hold the bumper on. So I'll quickly just get these two bolts loose on each side, then pop the bolts off and the bumper should fall off. four bolts and these bumpers pop off. Use the same bolts to put the new winch bumper on. This is probably one of the easiest vehicles to do this conversion on. Now you can see, at least in my case, that I need to remove the grill because the winch is in the way of the bumper going forward and being mounted on. The grill is going to have to have a section cut out for the winch. But right now I'm just going to remove the grill, get it out of the way. I actually got a used grill that fits this winch, so I'm just going to replace it with one that's already cut up, and I'll save this one for another vehicle. To remove the grill, there are three clips on the top that must be removed, but then to release the bottom portion of it, there is a clip on each side, but we also need to remove this section beneath the headlight and the turn signal. That goes through the grill, and I don't want to break anything, so I'm just going to remove these. They're held on by one screw in the inner fender right here. So if we look in the inner fender, this black dot right there, that is the screw that holds that on. Just release that, and you can pop that bottom section under the headlight off. There are a couple of clips on the bottom of the grill, but you should be able to just lift it straight up and out. While I have everything torn apart, I wanna put a new turn signal in here. It's just held by one screw up here. If you have this bottom piece off of here, just the one screw and this will pop right off. These parts that go beneath the headlight and the turn signals are broken. So I'm going to replace them with these black ones. This is going to black out the whole front of the truck, which I think will match the bumper real nice. I have the bumper pretty close. Now I just need to get my bolt started. There we go. Now I'll just get the other side started. And I can put my nuts on and the bumper's mounted. I need to wire up the winch and it's only two connections. One cable goes to the positive on the battery. One cable goes to the negative on the battery. The positive terminal has a place where I can put a bolt and bolt this onto the positive terminal. So I'll just put a bolt through that, bolt that on right there. The negative, I'm going to have to take over here to the negative bus bar. The battery cable that comes off the negative side of the battery actually connects here first and then goes down to connect to the rest of the car. So right here where it connects to this bus bar is a great place to get your ground. I'll scoot the camera back a little bit so you can see. Now the positive cable to the winch is mounted right here where this auxiliary bolt can go. Mount my negative cable. 
below that one and then put the nut back on. You can see our winch connections now. This is the positive cable to the winch. This is the negative cable to the winch right here. Should have power, so let's test it, see if it works. This is kind of nice. The winch controller can be used either wirelessly or wired, and it's the same controller for both, so you don't have to keep track of several things. If you want to use this wired, you just connect the connector on the bottom of the controller and then connect it up to your winch. But right now I have it in the wireless mode, so let's see if it works. There it goes in the out position. Reverse it to the go in. I don't want to pull too hard on that, but looks like it works. Well, I think the bumper looks great. There are these lights here. I do not have time to wire these up, so that will have to wait for a later episode. Now that the bumper's on, let's swap the tires because the ones that are on there sure aren't going to help much off-road. These particular tires are rotational, so there's an arrow here indicating which side of the vehicle the tires should be mounted on. I still have to do the other side, but this thing looks great. I have one more tire to replace. The spare tire on the back is not going to do any good with the new tires being much taller than the old ones. So I'll need to replace this one too. Now that's much better. I think the Disco looks great, but what is Cassie going to think? When she shows up, I'll surprise her with these modifications and I hope she likes them. Okay, you've got your hands over your face and your eyes are closed, right? Yeah. You haven't seen this truck yet, have you? No. Ready to see what I've done to it? Yes. Okay, open your eyes. Wow. Like scratching my eyes. What do you think? I think it looks pretty beastly. The tires are cool. Did you change those? Yeah. You can't tell those are different tires? <laughs> well, they're dirty still, so I don't know. They're not sparkly or shiny or anything. Did you see I fixed your turn signal? Yes! <laughs> Thank you. So I your grill is blacked out now and the area beneath your lights oh, is blacked out. Oh yeah, that looks really cool. That looks really cool. Okay, so let me show you this. So this is your winch control and you can do it wirelessly or plug it in like you've seen the other winches work. So here's out and here's in. So you can try it. Stop, stop, stop. We don't want to get it tangled up. Yeah, yeah. I noticed that. So, so do you want me to pull it? Yeah. So go ahead and hit out. Okay, so now if you want to go in, hit the in button, but don't rip your bumper off by taking it in too far. And it's got lights? Yeah, those don't work yet. Oh. But we will hook them up later. <laughs> yeah. So you ready to go off-roading tomorrow? Oh, yeah. You gonna get stuck? No. What happens if you do get stuck? Oh. You, you've got a winch now. <laughs> I have a winch now. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> um, I will be able to winch myself out. Can I okay. redo no, it? No, no. Okay. Oh, and look at the back of your truck, too. new tire. Yeah, that's a different tire. That's a lot bigger than the one you had on there. Can we take it back off? It's gross. <laughs> Look at it. 
Yeah, I know, but the old one wouldn't work. So it just stays there? It's not of use, or we can use this? I mean, the treads feel pretty tready. Well, we can get a cover for it, or we can get order one of these new tires and put that on there. But we just don't have time to fix it tonight. I was just kidding, kind of. I mean, we just think it's funny that there's a funky looking tire on the back of my Land Rover. So this is one of your old tires. This is what was on there. Oh yeah. They're, they're meant for gripping. These, these, these tires aren't going to get clogged up with mud like your old tires would. If those little treads would get filled up and it would be like you're on a racing slick. Oh, so we'd have mud in the tires? Yeah. Have you ever heard of mud in the tires? Yeah. If you want to see more videos like this, comment below and please subscribe.